it's Melanie so it is time for a new beauty basket these are makeup products that I'll be using for the next couple of weeks so we're gonna go ahead and shop my stash but before we get into that I'm gonna show you the things that are going to stay the same um, out of the current beauty basket there's some things that I just use very consistently that I don't want to give up <laughs> so I'm gonna show you those items first uh, my Wet n Wild eyeshadow in brulee, this is one that I'm trying to finish up. I go through several of these a year. This is basically my base that I use every single day for um, you know, my eyeshadow. So before I put any other eyeshadow on uh, over my primer, I put this on top of the primer to help um, other colors blend a little bit more easily. So my NYX blush and taupe, which I just found out recently is actually discontinued this particular um, style in this color is discontinued and it breaks my heart I have three backups but three is not enough so I don't know what I'm gonna do but that's okay I am going to go ahead and keep the it cosmetics um, hello light illuminating powder in for the next couple of weeks Speaking of other powder products, these are my foundation products that I'm going to be keeping in. The Buff Beige um, Healthy Pressed Finishing Broad Spectrum SPF Powder from Paula's Choice. My Baked uh, Balance and Brighten Foundation in Fair from Laura Geller. I need to actually use this up this summer, so this will be... Um, I'm going to be working on that one pretty hardcore. My Everyday Minerals in Winged Butter. I'm also trying to finish this guy up this summer as well and my Bourjois Healthy Balance um, Powder Foundation, although I use this as much more of like a finishing powder, and this is in the color Vanilla. My friend Stephanie sent that to me from Canada. As far as primers go, um, you guys are going to be surprised. I'm actually putting my Miracle Skin Transformer away because I've been using, and it's in my bathroom, but the Paula's Choice Resist Broad Spectrum SPF. Um, I've been using that every single day, and then I've also kind of been alternating it with the male, male, <laughs> Veil Mineral Primer from Hourglass. This is in my Finish 7 by Summer, so I am um, below the halfway point, so I'm still going to try hard to use this up because I've had it for a little while and it just needs to be done. And as far as other products that are staying the same, um, my brow powders and like brow products in general are staying the same. I have the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Taupe, the Beige Betty uh, Brow Box from Urban Decay, which I also found out is no longer, what, why do companies do this? Um, and then the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color Taupe. So those always usually stay the same. I'm going to continue using my um, Kat Von D Autograph Pencil in Immortal Love because it's the only thing that doesn't melt on my eyes during the summertime. Immortal Love is basically just a dark brown and that's what you're seeing on my eyes every single day as far as liner goes. That's going away. And then the three mascaras that I currently have open right now are the Essence Lash Princess, the Fantastic Lash Mascara from Paula's Choice, and then also this was a gift from a friend. She did not realize that this that benefit was not cruelty free so she sent this to me to be able to try out so um she got really bummed when I told her that it wasn't cruelty free because she also loves this mascara and she's going cruelty free herself so um <laughs> sorry Lisa <laughs> to bust your bubble on that but um I am going to use it because it was a gift and I'm really appreciative of it and I actually really like this mascara if you want an in-depth review of this let me know um so those are products that are basically staying the same wait Two more things. Um, this Too Faced uh, lipstick in Free Love. I kind of just want to finish this up because I'm close to finishing it up, so I'm going to keep it out. And then also the Say Yes to um, Coconut Lip Balm. So also a gift from my friend Lisa. So Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take you guys into my Alex 9 drawer, and we're going to pick out some other things and round all of this out so uh, let's head over okay so here we are at the Alex 9 drawer top drawer is drugstore eyeshadows and um, 
I don't actually know that I'm going to grab anything out of here for this go around. I really want to focus on using some of my palettes a little bit more. So I may actually forego any like singles and like smaller palettes this go around. So sadly this drawer is getting closed back up and nothing's getting pulled. These are my high-end um, singles and smaller palettes. I'm kind of tempted by some of the things in here, but again, I think I'm going to refrain this go around and just focus on palettes. All right, so here we go with some bases, some pigments. Um, let's see here. There's extra brow and mascara and stuff back there. I would like to definitely pull a cream shadow product and I think what I'm going to grab is the Double Wear Stay in Place Shadow Cream in Mochaccino. This one's really nice so I'm going to grab that. And I do also want to grab at least one pigment and I think what I'm going to go for is Gold Stroke by MAC which is just a really pretty bronze. So I'm going to take that out. I don't need any like other primers right now. Um, I'm trying to use up some of these guys so I have this, um, the original one out right now. I have a few of these because I bought the uh, Urban Decay Naked 3 palette for myself, also for my professional kit back in the day. So I just, I have a couple sets of those that I need to go through. So I'm trying to use those up. Okay, here we go with the blush. <laughs> Beloved blush. So I'm going to show you guys, I am going to basically just be using the new Milani Rose Powder blushes that um, I recently received. Hi, what are you doing? Are you a puppy? <laughs> so definitely these three. And then um, I want to pull something that I haven't used in a really long time. And... I think it might have to be the Lorac Baked Blush in Velvet Rope. I have not used this in a very long time, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that one, and then that'll be my little blush choices, my few blush choices, I guess, for the next couple of weeks. Um, don't know that I need anything here. So these are like larger um, blush palettes, finishing powders, like... Uh, bronzers, mm. highlighters, things like that. Mm, is this only one thing? Um, what? Oh, I guess this is only one thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm tempted to maybe grab the hula. No. Don't want anything out of here. <laughs> this is going to be slim pickings here. That's all that I've pulled so far is over there. Hi. You're so in my face right now. <laughs> okay, so these are finishing powders, um, concealers, makeup setting sprays. Don't really know that I want anything out of here either. I think I will go ahead and grab the MAC Prep and Prime. This is a really great finishing powder during the summertime, so I'm going to take that out and use that a few times at least. But there's nothing else in here that I'm really interested in. Yep, nope. <laughs> okay, lip products. Let's pick some lip products. Okay, it's time to be able to use some brights. So I'm gonna grab some of my lip butters. I'm getting Juicy Papaya out from Revlon. I'm getting Strawberry Shortcake, the lip butter from Revlon out. What about, um, let's see here. Mess it in a bottle. Yeah. How about Rodeo Drive from P2? This is one that I haven't used in a while. Um, this is a brand that's available in Germany, and oh, I cannot wait to do a German beauty haul for you guys when I go on my trip next month. I'm so pumped. I'm so excited. Okay. Um, what else do I want? What do I want? Hmm. How about this Sephora lipstick? 
I think this is the color mm, yeah let's do that one okay and then let's grab a couple of glosses just grabbing from the outside here this is a flower beauty lip gloss in lovely lotus let's take that out I'm not being super precise about this <laughs> how about this is this beige no this is natural I want beige from NYX uh, this is there it is beige here's this one okay yeah no that's more of a fall color let's leave that one for fall and I think uh, that oh. might be it how about this one nope well peach parfait that might not actually be a bad choice okay let's grab peach parfait from Revlon as well let's put it there with our lipsticks okay so that's it there. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, sweet Lord. Ow, 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 my foot. Are you okay? Don't put those there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, sorry guys. Okay, I'm going to get comfy here. Let's take a look at some palettes. What do we want to use? Oh, chocolate palette. Um, how about, there's one that I have in mind. What is it? It is, um... Oh, where is it? What am I thinking of? There's a Kat Von D one that I haven't used. Oh, this one. No, this is Ladybird. It's the other one. This one. Okay. This is the Kat Von D eyeshadow palette in Poetica. I got this for $20 off of um, the Sephora website. It's got some really pretty purples, and I have never used it. I need to use this somehow, some way. And... I'm it's also going to pull this bad too. boy. This is my, if you ever see this one on Hot Look, this is the little black book from, um, hello, don't stand on the palettes. Um, this is a little black book from Lorac. These are gorgeous baked eyeshadows. Oh, these make me drool. I love Whoa. these so much. So let's grab that one. Stella, what are you doing? You're I'm killing me, up. kid. I'm cleaning up. You're not cleaning up. You're making a mess for me. And then I really want to use one of these cargo palettes because I have not used them in a really long time. So let's go digging. By the way, I'm going to be changing my filming room here in the next month. So I'm going to have a much better like storage situation. Yay, well, not that yeah. this is bad storage, but I, I don't have, have it organized very well. Too. Okay. Okay, this is the Cargo Hands of Hope eyeshadow palette. And this has some good springy colors. So, not springy, yes, summery yes, colors. Purple. Yeah, there's a purple. There's a pretty a green. a green. What else is there? Uh, blue. Yeah, what else? What is that? Gray. That's champagne. Champagne. Yeah. What's that? Gold. Gold. Yeah. What's that? That's a bronze. What's that? That's uh, like a uh, aqua blue. What's that? Gray. <laughs> okay, now that we've gone through the whole palette, let's set it aside. Oh, Stella. Oh. <laughs> what a mess. Okay. And then, um, how about one more? Hmm. Hey, where's my... Did you take one of my palettes? No, there it is. Sorry. That would be my luck. How about this guy? Let's wear a few out of here. This is was a Too Faced, um, like, Sephora 500-point perk thing. Let's grab this one. Let's grab this one. Okay. <laughs> and while we're here, let's go ahead and pick out a perfume, because why not? Um, I have been wearing Viva La Juicy, and I love it. I don't want to step on those. Yeah, no, I, I, don't, I don't want you to step on them, because that would make me sad. Okay. Um, let's do the DKNY Red Delicious, because why not? Here. Okay. So that's everything. So that is my new beauty basket for the next couple weeks. That is what you'll be seeing in Friday Favorites and Flops. How about this review? Hmm. How about this review? If you guys want any reviews by Stella, let me know. She has a lot of opinions. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.